I would like to welcome you to my Vietnam voyage. As always, I will take you on an adventure where you will learn about the country's history, culture, food, tours to take, and how to do it all on a budget. Please stay tuned to the end of the video where I will list all most useful tips of how to explore Vietnam. There are 95 and a half million people in Vietnam with 7.5 million in its capital, Hanoi. The currency is Vietnamese dong, but uh, US dollar is widely used, especially in Hanoi. Vietnam is located at the eastern edge of Indochinese Peninsula. Here you can see Hanoi Pearl Hotel, where I stayed. It is centrally located in Old Quarter, the best area to stay at in Hanoi. Very reasonable pricing, breakfast included, and top service from all hotel employees. The interior of the hotel is very welcoming, with oriental decor and beautiful lighting. The dining area is conveniently located nearby. The first day I took a scooter tour. Please note that I was driving with a tour guide who took me to the most popular locations. And lunch was included. So, uh, if you can tell me about that street one more time, that would be yeah. great. So well, this is uh, the street where they're selling a lot of clothes, mostly like, you know, wholesale. And, but at night, it's turned into the night market. It starts at about 7 p.m. till the middle of the night. Why is it a popular place? Well, because it's one of the uh, very popular local market in Hanoi where everybody is buying everything, food, every single day. YouTube? Yeah, we're gonna go in this street. Are you ready? Oh, you ready? Oh my god, it's so okay, beautiful! Decorated pretty nicely uh, with the Vietnamese hats. It's his traditional hat. Stuff here. It's gonna get really busy at night, but daytime is a little quieter. Hanoi Food Market is definitely must see here. Old train tracks in the middle of the capital is a very picturesque and popular place for photos. Hanoi inhabitants live in very congested spaces. Often the apartments accommodate multi-generation families. Here, I was lucky enough to crush some Vietnamese wedding. And, uh, well, it is the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, which is where we put the body of Ho Chi Minh inside, not right in front of you. Who is Ho Chi Minh? Uh, he is the president of Vietnam. Oh. Way back in the day, he passed away in 1969. So once again, that building is uh, Ho Chi Minh and... Uh, yeah, Mausoleum. Mausoleum of the previous president. And his name was? Okay. His name was? His name was Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. Uh, we put the body in there. It's still in there. If you, sometimes people can, can go inside and visit. Well, it's a parliament. Uh, that's the parliament? Yes, the new parliament. We've got two. Beautiful. One is older, one is new. It's built about five years. The current one, that's good. closer look well I cannot get too close because they're opening a door normally they close the door but the socialist party headquarter of the socialist party yeah. that's why you see the symbol of the signal in the handle yes I did Traditional 
While doing my camera shots during my scooter tour, I met those Vietnamese ladies that were doing the same. So we joined forces. The structure is also very similar, even though of course it's not as big or as uh, beautiful as the Eiffel Tower. So it was designed by the Eiffel Tower uh, uh, designer. Yes. Architect. Architect. And his name, his last name is uh, Eiffel. Or by the French, maybe it's called Eiffel, if I'm not mistaken. 14 times, but it still keeps standing in here. We've been rebuilding it. I'm taking a small break on the bridge before continuing with the scooter tour. And here you can see the famous opera house in Hanoi. I was very much looking forward to see my first pagoda. There are temples and pagodas in Vietnam, and these are two different things. A temple is a place of worship for a person like a national hero. Here you can see a pagoda. Pagoda is a place for Buddhist religion, where Buddhists pray and worship Buddha. People bring various offerings to Buddha, like food, drinks and money. After pagoda, I headed for St. Joseph's Cathedral. It is the oldest Roman Catholic church in Hanoi. Since there were only meat options in Buncha, I headed to Orchid Restaurant. So we're making a... Yes, my name is John. John is Mamie here. And we're making a spring roll? It's gonna be a spring roll? Yes, uh, Vietnamese rice bun cake. Vietnamese? No. Vietnamese rice bun cake. Right. It is rice paper? Yeah. <laughs> now, I will taste just one. Uh, piece of Vietnamese rice and cake. You can grease it by yourself. You can see, and then I will throw on. Good. I finished. Okay, I'll try to do the same then. Mm -hmm. Oh, rotate? Yes, rotate. Okay, like that? Yes. And now it's ready? And, and if you need uh, some meat and coriander, you can put in. Okay. Do I put this? No, no. No? The dip in sauce. In the... Sauce later? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And now long awaited Halong Bay excursion. It takes approximately three hours to get there from Hanoi. And on the way you can see small towns and villages and observe how the Vietnamese people live. Halong Bay is one of the most picturesque places to visit in Vietnam and must see when you are here. We arrived at the port to board the ship to cruise around the bay. Lunch is served on the ship and is included in the excursion. We have a guide on board who tells us the interesting facts and stories about the area. Halong Bay is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There are around 1,900 limestone islands that make up Halong Bay. Many of the islands have beautiful caves to explore. Halong means where the dragon descends into the sea and it has connection with a local legend. The beauty of the area was noticed by many movie directors. King Kong and James Bond Tomorrow Never Dies were shot here. There are a variety of activities and touring options in Halong Bay. You can take a day-long boat cruise throughout the bay, take a guided island tour and explore the caves, 
or rent a sailboat or kayak for the day and explore the islands on your own. Some of the grotes and caves are one of the most spectacular ones in the world. After 40 minutes of cruising, we disembarked the ship to take a boat ride. However spectacular the views may seem on the small screen, I can assure you that they don't convey the real beauty of the area. the boat ride we visited Hangdao Go Cave. Upon the exit from the cave, we got a beautiful view of the whole bay. And as I promised, I have a summary of tips as to how to explore Vietnam. Stay in the old quarter. There are great hotels at really good prices and it is the heart of the city. The best months to visit are from October to April. It is way too hot to visit Vietnam in the summer. Take scooter tour, city walking tour, Halong Bay cruise, visit food market, and definitely water theater. I booked all my tours online. That way you get the best value for your money. The currency here is Vietnamese dong but US dollar, especially in the capital of Hanoi, is widely accepted. Take with you some mixed clothes and an umbrella, as sometimes the weather changes. Please subscribe, comment if you liked it, and see the second part of my Vietnam voyage in the next video.